Dear sisters and brothers in Jesus Christ, Are you a blind? Are you a blind people? Are you a blind person? Yes or no? No. That's good. Anybody in the world, anybody in the world, including the priest, who is not having any obstacles or sufferings, can we find anyone without sufferings in the life? Can we find anybody? Yes or no? Absolutely, it's not possible. In the world, everybody has a problem. Everyone is undergoing the obstacles in our life. But how we are going to approach and how we are going to face as a Christian. Let me show you a short video how blind or how we are facing the obstacles in our life. Let us check. In ancient times, a king had his men place a huge rock on a roadway. He then hid in the bushes and watched to see if anyone would move the rock out of the way. Some of the king's wealthiest merchants and courtiers passed by and simply walked around it. Many blamed the king for not keeping the roads clear, but none of them did anything about getting the stone removed. And so it happened that one day, a peasant came along carrying vegetables. Upon approaching the rock, the peasant laid down his burden and tried to push the rock out of the way. After much pushing and straining, he finally managed. After the peasant went back to pick up his vegetables, he noticed a purse lying in the road where the rock had been. The purse contained many gold coins and a note from the king explaining that the gold was for the person who removed the rock from the road. You see, in life, every obstacle that we come across gives us an opportunity an opportunity to improve our circumstances. And while the lazy complain, others will create opportunities through their kind hearts, generosity, and willingness to get things done. So see every problem as an opportunity and a chance to become better and to grow. This is Dare to Do Motivation Stories. Thanks for watching and stay blessed. Uh, deny the sufferings in our life we cannot escape from these kind of sufferings in our life but we can make these obstacles and sufferings into our opportunity that's what Jesus teaches today problems sicknesses and tensions in our life are always the integral part of our human life however the things are determined to our normal life. We all try to escape and run away from this deterrence, but no one can escape from this one, as I said early. Our, pro our problems do not define us, but how we handle and shapes and mold in our life. In the gospel reading not only in the today's gospel but in the entire gospel of John we can find many miracles and many things Jesus did and he changed into the it's not an uh, it, he changed into as an opportunity it's nothing but just it's opportunity for the proclamation of good news for the proclaiming the good news to bring out the kingdom of God that's the main thing that he has taken that the main thing that he was he faced all the obstacles and he changed and he converted into opportunity how are we going to change these kind of obstacles from our life because 
In today's gospel, disciples are asking, Rabbi, who sinned? Who is the main cause for the sin or for the blindness? Because according to the Jewish culture, if anybody is sick, anybody is blind or anybody is having the leprosy or any, any sickness, it's all because of the sin. Here the question is, the disciples were asking to Jesus, who is the main cause for his sin? Whether it is because of him, because of his sin, or because of his parents' sin. For them, the blindness is a problem because they think it's an outcome of their sin. But Jesus seeks in a different way. For him, it's an opportunity to manifest the God's glory. As, he's, as he says, Neither this man nor his parents sinned. He was born blind so that God's work, God's work might be revealed in him. How? Many times, many, very often we consider our difficulties and problems but our problems as a problems but the Lord Jesus teaches us the problems are occasions to show show forth our strength and our caliber how we face this kind of problem in our life that shows our strength that shows that brings out our willingness to face the world the courageness that we have in Matthew chapter 4 we have the miracle of multiplication of bread because the uh, disciples approached Jesus and told him Jesus already is time we don't have anything to feed these people please ask them to go out and look at their own bread look at their own food because we have very minimum only five five bread and two loaves they found is a problem if you are not able to feed them then they will question us the people the people will question to Jesus so disciples were thinking it's a problem but Jesus here make he, he transformed it into as occasion that he wants to show the God's providence he wants to show this of, of how God works in him and with him so he multiplied into several there he made these obstacles as an opportunity to bring out the God's glory same thing in the gospel of luke chapter 8 verses 41 to 53 we can find the daughter of jairus who raised from raised to who was raised to raised to life because the officials were telling already she's dead why are you disturbing the jesus leave him alone but jesus said no don't lose your hope and strength especially faith and god that he strengthened his willingness there he made these obstacles and he touched and he gave life he did the miraculous he did an extraordinary way that to show how we can change the obstacles that we face in the world into as an opportunity how we are going to bring the good news by facing these kind of obstacles in our life Jesus always saw sicknesses, oppositions, inquity as the occasions and opportunities to teach and give glory to God. It's everything only for the greater glory of God. And he manifest his plan for the world. Even he, he consider his trial, passion and death to be an occasions, occasion to bear witnesses to the will of God the father for the disciples perhaps for many people including us the man born blind was the negative situation it was a perceived to be a cause of sin but for the Lord it was an occasion how do we see the difficulties and challenges of our life how do we accept and how do we handle these kind of obstacles, sufferings in our life? Many times we crumble 
and many times we curse the situations when we face these kind of sufferings or the obstacles in our life sadly we drag them beneath them but these are the moments we need to sum up our faith and turn them into the opportunities to bear the witness bear witness to the world of our faith let us think how are we facing the problems obstacles in our life are we are we facing them or are we taking them at the, to the next level as an opportunity to prove or to show or to witness the kingdom of god or just we are moving with the world like cursing or blaming the obstacles or you want to escape from the sufferings let us ask god's grace to face to get more courage to face all these obstacles for the greater glory of god